I went shopping. I was not told that this much ads was gonna be exposed. I'm a lip gloss girl. Too outcast, too magnificent, too beautiful. Oh, I am so in love with these pants. These are my dream pants. I have been looking at them for a year. Hello besties and welcome back to my channel. If you have not seen my face before, my name is Jessica Jamie and I make videos in my room sometimes. Oh, that was so good. I know it's been a while, um, but today I'm giving you a haul of a bunch of things that I have bought recently. Over the past couple weeks, there is some skincare and a bunch of clothes. I went shopping. Links to everything I buy will either be in the description or I'll like put something here with the video. Just so you guys you know, can get it yourself if you're curious. Yeah, let's jump on in. I've said it before, my bestie started doing lashes and she recently got certified. <laughs> now, of course I'm gonna be one of my bestie's clients, obviously. I ordered a little, oh my God. ordered a little lash care kit from a small business that I found on TikTok. Zoe's. QOQ, I don't know. I've been really trying to order from sm more small businesses. So I did order some lip gloss and like some lip care stuff. I ordered some lip glosses from Besito's Cosmetics on TikTok. I don't remember which ones I ordered because she, she also threw in some freebies, so thank you. Also from her, I know she, she has some Miraculous Ladybug stuff on there and that's one of the reasons why I ordered from her because it's like my favorite show. I also ordered a little cute little spots on lip scrub and pink brush. Another uh, small business I ordered from is, what is it called? Amelia Cosmetics. I saw this on my For You page months ago. It's her like all black lip glaze and I just, I needed it. I needed it. I don't feel like doing this right now. I will, I will try it on another day. I wanted to show you that I also bought like this little desk organizer off Amazon for all my lip glosses. Cause I'm a lip, I'm a lip gloss girl and not a lipstick. So I wanted a little cute little box. Moving on from small businesses, from, oh. What the fuck else did I buy? From Ulta, I bought this lip oil. I think I got the like cranberry and pomegranate one. I'm wearing it right now. It is so, it smells good. It feels so hydrating. I, lo I love this stuff. It's so good. And then ordered some stuff from Sephora. I bought this. I saw this on TikTok too. It's the Sephora Limp Plumping Gloss. This shit's crazy. It smells kind of sweet. And it's glittery. Like, it's, so, it's real good gloss. And also from Sephora... I bought um, this Glow Recipe Strawberry VHA stuff. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's supposed to help, but it's helping. I mean, ignore that because it's really like the only thing I have on my face right now, but, but like results for using this for like a week. Like it's, and you know, just, just um, stocking up on my, the ordinary. I'm almost out of my salicylic acid serum. And I was freaking out because I couldn't find, couldn't find it anywhere again because it was like sold out. So, bought the mask. I need to give y'all like, um, like an updated skin routine. I feel so rushed. I need to calm down. When I'm with a group of friends or something and you know, we're hanging out, want something to do, bored, want to spend some quality time with each other, we play Cards Against Humanity. But there's been so many times where it's like, oh, we just have the the original game. It gets boring after a few times because it's, you know, all the same cards, whatever. I bought a case and I'm buying all the expansion packs for it. Because we gon' we going to keep my friendships interesting. Now I get to show you the clothes that I bought. I'm, I'm going to make it a try on haul for you guys because 
I love try on hauls. I buy a lot of my clothes from Depop. I also sell some clothes on Depop, so you can definitely follow me here. That link to my Depop is gonna be in the description or also right here. First thing, this Edward Scissorhands sweatshirt that I'm wearing currently, because Edward Scissorhands is like my favorite movie, and I saw it on Depop and I didn't even think. I just bought it like as soon as I saw it. And then I'm like, wait, let me see like if I can find it online. And you can find it at hottopic.com for $6 cheaper than what I bought it for. Let me just open up my closet for y'all so you can see. And it's all black. Next are my absolute dream pants. I saw these on TikTok like a year ago and I've just, I just needed to have them. I needed to have them. I just, I just, they were made for me. It's the classic bondage pants from Trip NYC. Oh, I am so in love with these pants. These are my dream pants. I've been looking at them for a year and I finally had the money for them and they were finally in stock in my size. They, oh my God, they fit me like a glove. I love them. I just, I love these pants. You see like how much burn and how red they made my lips in Sephora gloss. Anyways, moving on, sorry. And you know, you're probably asking yourself, Jessica, where the fuck would you wear these two? They are too complex, too cool, too edgy, too different, too outcast, too magnificent, too beautiful to just be worn to do nothing. And you are absolutely right. I don't know where I was going with that. I just love these pants. Next things I ordered were from H&M. I've been really into like the Acubi style. I, I don't know that's how you pronounce it. But first is this like one shoulder strap tank top. This one strap tank top, but it, the one strap is like, it looks like two, but it's one strap. I think it's cool. I have basic tank tops in my closet, but um, I don't have anything that's like asymmetrical like this and I thought it was cool. Next is this like tie halter top. Usually I get a size small in like my tiny tank tops like these because I want it to be like a little bit tighter on my waist. This one also came with arm warmers. Next is this narcotic sweatshirt from Depop. I like Lil Nar. I like his clothing, but I actually have like some other pieces in here from him. I also thought the look of it reminded me of Marceline the Vampire Queen. So that's another reason why I bought it. Next from Depop um, is this, I think it's, yeah, this Punks and Kisses sweatshirt zip up. It just, it reminds me of Monster High. It reminds me of, um, I think, I think scene is the right aesthetic. And it has safety pins in the pockets. It is missing one. This is this is just so sick. I can totally see me wearing this with my Trip NYC pants too. I think that'll be cool. Next from Depop, is it, it's this green uh, Harley Davidson zip up. I wanted like a little bit of alternative and just like that Acubi style I was talking about how it's more uh, neutral tones. So I wanted to like add this in my wardrobe as well. Next, also from Depop, what a surprise. Um, it's this Funeral Service X Wi-Fi's funeral sweatshirt. I didn't even know that this was on the back. Like I always forget that it's there. Um, I like Wi-Fi's funeral. I know it's a few of their songs. Um, it also, it glows in the dark. I'll figure out a way for it to show you so you can believe me. Last thing from Depop is this faux leather dress. I just finished watching Death Note and it reminds me so much of Misa. I just had to get it. I have no clue if it fits. I have not yet tried it on. It fits, but, um, I'm not turning around because I underestimated how short it is. And so when you see the try on for this, you'll know if I like it. I was not told that this much ass was gonna be exposed. I bought some tights off of Sheen. So I can hopefully, if it, if it fits, I'll make it my Halloween costume. I'll be Misa for Halloween, even though, you know, we're in March. And then from Target, I bought this cargo skirt. Once again, that green color for the Acubee. I thought this with, um, the tie halter top would be cool to wear with this. I could have gone a size down in this just because like the waistband is stretchy, but I wasn't able to try it on. So, you know, I gotta deal with what I gotta deal with, but it's still cute. I just, I wanna be more of a skirt person. I'm trying to be more of a girl. So I bought a skirt and a dress. And oh, I ordered stuff from Hot Topic. Um, I bought a girl hat. I also bought some Gur socks, but I don't feel like looking for those. Just cause I love Invader Zim and Gur reminds me of myself. Converse, the basic black ones. 
with the white toe because I've never had a pair of, of these ones. I have maroon, red, the all black. Oh, these were a Christmas present, but I'm putting them in the haul. And this concludes today's video and my haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I think next video will probably be me making outfits with my clothes and try to style my new clothes because I'm not entirely sure how I want to do that yet. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, more hauls in the future, hopefully. I I work in retail, but I'm probably gonna quit soon, so like, yeah, gotta save my money. Feel free to subscribe, it's totally free. Comment any videos that you wanna see from me. All of my social medias are linked below. You should definitely check me out on there because I'm not always active on YouTube, but I am definitely always active on the others. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.